Hi, I'm Matt McGovern, and this is Inside the Pocket with Coach Gov. This week I'd like to highlight the idea of elbow extension. And a common theme for many coaches talking to quarterbacks is to deliver the football by bringing your arm over the top or getting your elbow as high as you can at release point. And there is a little bit of truth to that in the idea that you want your elbow to be on the rise during the course of your throw. However, we don't want our elbow to be climbing up and over the shoulder when we throw. We rather want our elbow to rise low to high during the course of the throw. And so the key component of extension is when we take the football, so we come down into the separation phase into what I call the rev phase of the throw. From this point, we wanna have what's called elbow lead. When we come out of rev and work towards the race squeeze aspect of the throw, you want that elbow to race low to high out in front of the body as opposed to getting up high and letting the chest be in front of the arm. So elbow extension comes from working out a rev phase and into the race phase, working low to high, and then yes, we want our elbow above the shoulder, but not until the front side of the body. Then we don't want to think about extending the elbow until we get all the way towards our target. So as far as you can forward, then extend. That's going to allow you to create the most consistency using elbow extension. So let's take a look this week at Baker Mayfield from Oklahoma and also the man himself, Aaron Rodgers, from this past week at how they used elbow extension. So here's a look at Baker Mayfield uh, in this past weekend's game against Ohio State. Moving to his left, making a really challenging throw uh, very accurately. Um, I believe this was to convert as well. I'll play it through and take a look. So you can see there he's rolling to his left, hitting a receiver that's working back across to the right. Now a couple components of his mechanics are going to be at play here, but the one we want to focus on is his elbow extension. So as I described earlier, the idea of getting your elbow out in front of the football uh, and having elbow lead is the first priority. Coming out of your rev phase, which here's his rev and his separation, and now you're going to see him essentially pivot his elbow to now being in front. So right now his elbow shifts to now being in front of the football and driving towards his target. Again, keep in mind his body is moving left, his receiver's body is coming across hit across to the right, and he's able to deliver a strike because first thing he does is load his front side. You can see his left shoulder uh, is working to get around to point towards his target. Now he doesn't get completely loaded, but he gets pretty close. And that allows him to utilize his rev and his front side arm, which is going to, what I call, squeeze and quiet his front side to allow his elbow to lead and extend. Otherwise, if he was to, let's say, rip his left elbow back, so his elbow just stays, it only hardly comes. Because of that, he then is able to drive his elbow out in front of his body successfully. And this is how you get elbow extension right there. You can see the elbows in front of the football driving towards the target, and only then does he extend the elbow. And that is what allows him to finish with an accurate throw here across his body uh, the opposite way on the run for a big conversion. Okay, here's Aaron Rodgers from uh, his game against the Seattle Seahawks. And you see he's going to be on the run as well. Take a look. This time to his right for a beautiful strike on the sideline. Now the one thing we want to highlight again, elbow extension. He couldn't do this unless he worked his mechanics properly. You see this is a great look at the rev. As I mentioned in the Baker Mayfield video uh, previously, there's the separation phase you see. So he takes that football, scoops it down and back, and his front arm is equal opposite on the front side. Now from this position, he's able to utilize his front side squeeze you see he's not ripping his elbow, but rather he's pivoting that elbow as he begins to uh, race the throwing elbow forward and a slight squeeze on his left elbow to keep the front side of his body more quiet and not ripping open. That lets him get that elbow in front, and now he has elbow lead position, which allows him the late extension possible to be accurate on this throw. Great look at it here. So for quarterbacks, don't forget... You want to drive your elbow as close to your target as possible before you begin to extend it and then allow your arm to fully snap the full extension of your elbow and then wrist to allow for the most consistency on every throw. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Inside the Pocket with Coach Gov.